The only tools you will need are a flathead screwdriver, crescent wrench, and tape measure. Begin by shutting the water supply off to the faucet. Next, remove the handle by using a flathead screwdriver. Then, remove packing nut by using a crescent wrench. Turn counterclockwise until threads are completely out of tube casing. To remove the black rubber packing, place handle back on the rod without the screw and turn handle counterclockwise four to five times so the threads are released from back of the faucet. If you have the brownish white packing material, you may notice it will stick and need to be gently worked out with a small flathead screwdriver. Work around the outer diameter of the packing material until it dislodges and comes out. Remove the rod assembly by pulling out towards you. The check valve at the end of the rod assembly could provide slight resistance when coming out. However, a quick pull will release the rod assembly. Measure length of the rod assembly like this with your tape measure. The length of the rod assembly will correspond to one of the RK-PRV kit sizes shown here. Insert rod assembly all the way into tube casing and turn clockwise in order to connect rod at the back of the faucet. Turn until faucet is in the off position. Next, insert packing washer onto rod assembly, making sure the flat side of the washer faces towards where the handle will be. Then, insert black rubber packing either way onto rod with packing washer in place. If you are just reinstalling current rod, you can reuse the old packing material. Now, place packing nut on rod with threads facing packing material and lightly tighten packing nut with crescent wrench. Finally, place handle on end of the rod and screw handle on with handle screw using a flathead screwdriver. Now you're ready to turn water supply back on to test the faucet. Place a hose with a pressure nozzle on it. Then turn water on by using the handle. If the packing nut leaks, tighten down the packing nut with crescent wrench until leaking stops. Look for more how-to videos coming soon to Eagle Mountain Products Company YouTube.com channel.